with summer on the way and hopefully this lockdown being over really soon maybe a lot of us are going to go out and do a bit of lrf i know that i will i purchased the lrf kit just right before the lockdown and i haven't even got it wet it hasn't even seen sunlight so today what we're going to do is i'm going to talk you through a couple ways to hook up a drop shot rake let's do that right now For the drop shot rig, you ideally want to use a thin diameter fluorocarbon. Usually on your LRF kit, you'll probably have a braid main line um, and a fluorocarbon leader. Um, if you've got a fluorocarbon leader with your braid, if you're using that, you want to make your leader as long as your rod plus half. You want to make sure it's thin. I mean with LRF, it's thin stuff anyway so you're looking at four pounds six pound line so but today i'm just going to use 25 pound amnesia just for videoing purposes now one of the hooks i'm going to show you one way to do this as a drop shot and the hooks a drop shot hook has got this shape right this is a big one they do have smaller ones but this is the only one that i've got to be able to show you I've gone through my whole hook inventory and I don't have a smaller one so I use this big one but normally what I would do is use something small like this these are the Cox and Raw Tango Match and I mean these buddies really small that's the kind of thing that I would use for LRF or size four. I'm gonna show you how to do this one, the drop shot, and then I will show you how to do this one on a dropper loop, okay? That's the other way that you can do it. Okay, so what you wanna do is you take your hook, just put it on there. So you got a hook on your line, and basically what you wanna do is make a loop in the line and loop it back over itself. So then you've got something like that. Then you want to take your hook, you want to wrap it around four or five times. Um, You tighten down both sides. And you just tighten it up. There you go. And that knot will keep that hook pointing straight up. So when you set the hook, this bit of the hook sets straight into the fish's mouth and that will hold that just like that so it's straight and so it's up now these are shaped this way so that hook stands sits up proud so it stays proud just like that and then with your weight you do it one or two ways with the weight you can get these weights and they've got this little pyramid type of thing on it and I don't have I don't know if this will work and basically what you do is you just put your line through there and you pull on it so it sets up in there like that Then, because when you're drop shotting, this is dragging on the bottom, yeah? If you get snagged up into something, that comes straight out. And basically, all you lose is your weight. And not your whole rig, and potentially a fish. Or, 
what you can also do is if you've got a regular weight this is big again I only had a big one is just take your line and you do a simple overhand knot just like that and that'll hold enough you know because you're not chucking it out a hundred yards it's just in rock pools and then if that gets caught up that will come right out only lose your lead so yeah there's that style the next one we're gonna do is a dropper loop and again you want to use a thinner line for this and it would be on a whole rig and I would make mine maybe to my chest that way I could fit two or three hooks on it for the dropper loop what you want to do is take your line fold it on itself so if you got something like that it's kind of like the other one actually then you take this line and you wrap it around four times take the top one two three four and you've got this little opening you want to take the bottom of your loop and pull it through there like that hold that bit with your thumb pull both ends to tighten it down it's kind of fiddly and there you go you've got your loop now with this this one's a bit small so you would take if it was thinner line, it would fit through this hook. You just fold it in half, and that will go through the eye. There. Go through, goes through like that. Then you take your hook through the loop part, just like that. And you pull it down tight. There you go. Another way to do it is if you've got this loop on your line and you can't fit this piece when you clamp it down through the eye of the hook because the hook's too small, your line's too thick. If that won't go through, what you can do is make sure when you tie it, you need a little bit bigger loop because you're gonna have to tie a knot. You take your clippers and you just snip this loop in half. So you've got that. So there's two bits. Then you take your hook and you tie it on as regular. I do a smaller blood knot. I don't really do like six twists it's three or four because it's smaller one two three and even three on these small hooks I mean you're not catching whoppers doing LRF if you do that's great tighten it down wet it like any other one Snip off your tag end. Then with the other piece flapping about, you can snip that bit off as well. Just like that. And you've got another dropper. And again, you can do that one up here, one down here, then you've got three. And hooking up the weight is the same way as we did earlier with these ones. Just a simple overhand knot. Because again, if you've got a fish on, you don't want to lose your whole rig, and you don't want to be fiddling with that. And there you go, that's on the bottom. Get snagged up. 
pulls right off all you lose is that again guys i hope that helped i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more content like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be alerted of future content we'll see you next time thanks guys angley addict 75 i'm out